Okay, so to optimize or to maximize um, the likelihood, the log -like likelihood, uh, we go to uh, data solver, and ideally we maximize uh, this cell here. So that's our E uh, 1284 or 283. And we're maximizing, and we're doing that by changing the cells, these references here. Now, uh, it, we may be interested in ensuring uh, some minimum criteria are satisfied, and uh, adding restrictions or constraints uh, may be useful, but uh, just the initial calculation I'll do without imposing any restrictions. Uh, we hit solve. We wait for the values uh, to change. Um, the values have converged. So we'll accept those values. We click OK. And we get a value for the log likelihood function, which seems to be consistent with Hull. You can check that. And also the parameter values for omega, beta, and alpha. Uh, seem also to be consistent with uh, with the uh, uh, whole estimates. To observe that, we might go to the previous worksheet where Hull made uh, his uh, estimates. So we could go back to uh, chapter eight, uh, copy, and have a look at the estimates. So we'll copy both sets of figures. Copy and paste in and make the comparison. Okay, so if we unfreeze the panes, okay, the estimates that we have here, right, the log likelihood, the sum of the um, Log likelihood difference is 10,228. Okay, we'll check that. We'll just push this up here for a moment. And we'll copy the values also taken from old text. So I'll just copy and go back into the other spreadsheet and paste. And uh, we'll put back in the pane, so freeze panes again. Possibly around here. And pull the scroll down to where the estimates are made. And we find that the values are consistent, so the value for alpha Beta, same. So for omega, pretty much the same. Uh, the value for alpha, uh, it also seems to be the same, and for beta, approximately the same as well. So we've uh, basically parameterized uh, the Karch model. Uh, the values are consistent, so the spreadsheet estimation is consistent with uh, Hull. We can have a look in the PowerPoint slides, again, same basic results. Um, from there, we can estimate uh, long-term uh, volatility, uh, work out uh, long-term volatility per day, per day. And from there, long-term volatility can be used then uh, by annualizing, putting into an option model, or perhaps using an evaluate risk model. Uh, Garch uh, is sometimes used in Garch Monte Carlo, and Garch Monte Carlo models uh, allow for um, fatter tails, uh, greater kurtosis, um, and um, also. Um, allow us to think in terms of volatility changing through time.